So this is the setup that I am using to run my experiment with. In it we have our camera, our stacked lamps, and then our sample holder. We will shine the light onto the sample and the camera will pick up the PL that comes off of it. These samples are mini models of solar panels and can be used to determine what needs to be changed before scaling them up to full size. This research is important because no one really knows how solar cells break down and what causes them to fail so unpredictably. This will be the starting point to try to figure that out. This is the UV spectrometer and is used to grab the characteristics of the lenses. This gets the absorbance and transmittance, but for our project we only really needed the transmittance. You put the sample in the sample holder and it will run through a wide variety of wavelengths until you get the data you want. I was specifically looking for the characteristic curves, which are shown on this graph. This allowed me to determine which filter I would use this is our program that will give the visual of what is going on over our time. This is our standard sample that won't break down that we use to get our comparisons. When the light is added, you can see that the metal becomes dark and we only see the PL. This sample was created using thin film deposition and then was put in the annealer to add our layer of gold, which makes it become a device rather than a sample. Observing this over the course of 300 minutes allow us to see exactly how it breaks down, as well as shows us impurities in the film that we were unable to see with our naked eye prior to running this experiment. We are able to see these changes over the course of one sample, but also get other samples from the batches to see if they break down in the same way. Using more samples made out of the same materials will allow us to determine if the breakdown occurs in a similar or random way. This can improve the quality. The second sample is from a different batch of materials and used a spin deposition rather than just layering it. Even before the film begins to break down, we are able to see that the film did not coat evenly and there are a lot of impurities. You can also see that there is a problem with the glass that the thin film is printed on as there's PL coming out of the metal components. These metal components are called TCO and they should not be emitting light at all. This sample can demonstrate that there are many places that are crucial for a perovskite that can still go wrong.